Hello and welcome. In this session, we are going to uh, see how to insert the data in PostgreSQL in our table. So, uh, insert, update, and delete. These uh, SQL statements are known as DML, uh, Data Manipulation Language. So, what we are going to do first is we are going to create a table. So, the syntax is create table, table name. Then, in round brackets, we will say the column name then the data type then we will give a comma then if you have more columns then give the column name there will be a space after that and uh, then the data type comma then there is another column and data type then you close the round brackets and uh, then you have semicolon so the first thing which we are going to do is we are going to create a table and the table name is course so we are going to create the table so it is create table course data type column names and here so i'm connected through uh, pg admin which is a graphical user interface and i'll just execute it so you can see that query returned successfully in uh, 120 milliseconds so what we will do is now um, I'm not going to drop the table. We'll just see how the uh, table looks like. So just say select a star from table name and execute it. You can see uh, it is a three column table, course name, course number, name, and uh, uh, price. Data types are mentioned uh, down below that, which is integer text and a numeric type. So what we are going to do first is we are going to see the syntax of how to insert the data. So it is the, the syntax is insert into table name. Then you have values. This is a keyword in bracket round brackets. You have the, uh, the data for the column. So we have three column course number name and price. So what I'm going to say is insert into course then values. I'm going to give in uh, course number one, then the course name is PostgreSQL, and uh, then uh, the price, which is 150. So let's execute it, then we will verify it. So query executed successfully in 84 milliseconds. Now let us review the details. So we will simply say, select asterisk from table name, which is course execute it so you can see uh, course number is one course name is PostgreSQL and uh, uh, course price is 150 now in the uh, second this is not the preferred way because you do not know in which column you are going to insert the data if you don't remember it so uh, the recommended way is like this insert into course and if you mention the column name, which is course number, then this is the second column, which is name, and this is the third column, followed by the keyword values, then I'll insert the data, which is numeric two for the course number, course name is MySQL, and the price is 100. So let's insert this. So it is inserted, let's verify it. So we'll say select star from courses. We have two uh, rows inserted let's insert one more row but what we are going to do is we are going to reshuffle the column name so the first column name is course number so instead of that we are going to say name so name uh, we are going to give a, is mongodb then we are going to give the price which is 100 and then the course number so it is just we reversed it so something which was coming uh, in the last it is coming now first uh, I think it is other ways only so let's insert this data this is inserted now let's verify it you can see there are three uh, rows inserted and the preferred way is insert into table name uh, followed by you mention the column name and then values uh, there is another way as well, uh, wherein what we can do is we can insert the data in 
in one shot in all the three rows uh, three rows separately we did we can do it uh, let's mention it as postgresql new or my sql underscore new and mongodb underscore new and just i'll say the course number is four five and six just three more rows so insert into table name then followed by the column names then the values just execute it it is executed and now you can verify it select a star from courses so you can see there are six rows so this is how we insert the data in case you have to insert the data from some other table there is a way so what we are going to do is we are going to create a new table new underscore courses and we are going to select the data from the course table so we will say create table new underscore course as select star from course let's execute it so the syntax is create table these are the keywords then the name of the new table and this is select star from the course table now you can see the new table is created new table is created and it has uh, uh, all the rows which are there in course table we can do one more thing is we can uh, select the output from one table and insert into another so we'll say insert into course and we have mentioned the column names and we are displaying the data from the new table which we had just created so we are just saying select course so what will happen is these six rows will be uh, be the output and they will be inserted into course table so let's execute it as this is executed now you will see there should be 12 rows in our table yes you can see there are 12 rows so this is how insert statement works when you have to insert the da data in a single row or multiple rows so this is how you do it and this is uh, uh, a dml data manipulation language because you are manipulating the data by inserting it into the table and uh, postgresql one of the uh, most powerful rdbms which is open source is sql compliant and this is one of the feature of the sql wherein it has to support dml which is data manipulation language i hope this is going to help and thanks for watching